Hey, everybody. Dave Archer, Atlanta Falcon Radio Network. We've had a series of, of days where we've talked about players that might be available in the draft for the Falcons, whether it's early, maybe a little bit later on, maybe day two. We're going to talk about some best players available. Now, you've heard this guy's name mentioned with the Falcons prominently at the top of the draft, and you're not going to get this guy later. Kyle Pitts, big tight end out of Florida, 6'5", 235, ran 4'4 at his pro day, matchup nightmare. Anybody that watched SEC football this year saw this kid. He can line up in the slot area. He can line up tight to the line of scrimmage. He can also bounce outside. And now what we're seeing with tight ends to where you're isolated outside the numbers on a safety, maybe a linebacker, better not cover him with this guy. You better have a corner lined up on Kyle Pitts. He is a freakish athlete that has a tremendous catch rate. He's a tough kid. Anybody see the Georgia game? Took a monster hit over the middle of the field. Was able to come back later on in the year. So this is a guy that uh, I think Kyle Pitts is going to probably go in those top five, six picks of the draft. Could very well go to the Falcons at number four. We know that the quarterbacks are kind of loaded in that front end. What does Atlanta do? Best player available? Kyle Pitts fits that category for Terry Fontenot's talked about it repeatedly another best player available is Micah Parsons now I don't know that Atlanta's necessarily in the business of linebacker but when you start talking about in the business for best player available this kid comes up this kid's going to go probably in the top 10 picks of the draft may go in the top five picks of the draft the linebacker 6'3 246 out of Penn State opted out this last year so there's some limited tape on him but when you look at the measurables he ran 438 his pro day at 246 pounds he can rush the passer as well i want to get to that 34 inch bird so tremendous athleticism both sliding from sideline to sideline i think he's a guy that can do that i think he's a sideline to sideline player if you're looking to potentially shift where linebackers are playing Deion jones one of those speed guys could you be looking at maybe four linebackers on the field and Deion Jones all of a sudden slides outside with that great speed and athleticism. We saw his ability to rush the passer. This kid could slide inside easily and play that inside backer spot. He's tough at the point of attack against the run, but he has another gear where he can shift in and he can actually step up on the line of scrimmage and rush the passer for you too. A lot of versatility in Micah Parsons. I love the kid, a lot of versatility. Uh, he is gonna be one of the best players available in the draft. When we shift gears and talk about best players available, can't forget the running backs. We have not talked running backs here on AtlantaFalcons.com. There are some good ones coming out. There's a long list of good ones. But a couple of guys locally here that played not far from Atlanta, talking about at Alabama and Najee Harris and at Clemson uh, and Travis Etienne. And how about at North Carolina and Javante Williams? Let's jump into a couple of running backs here real quick. Travis Etienne, 5'10", 205. Clemson running back ran 4-4 at, at his combine. Anybody that's seen Clemson play, and if you haven't seen Clemson play, you've had your head buried in the sand because they've been in every, actually every game, it seems like, every year in the national championship picture. Travis Etienne has tremendous blow, blow by his speed. He's got nice patience, but when he, when he steps into the secondary, it's a home run. And oh, by the way, he really developed his ability to catch the football did an outstanding job of developing that part of the game. Was not much of a pass catcher his first couple seasons. Really developed into a nice pass catcher. Remember, he stayed for a senior. Could have gone pro last year. Stayed to come back to play with Clemson and really develop his ability to catch the football. Uh, a kid that has home run ability uh, and, and, and mixes in the ability to catch the ball. Go Najee Harris, running back Alabama. 6'2", 230-pounder, the senior. Um, and when you look at this kid, he reminds you, if you remember the old Bear running back, Matt Forte. He looks a little bit like Matt Forte in the fact that not great speed, but the next thing you know, he's by you or he runs through you. And this kid loves to get after you physically. He's an excellent receiver, probably the best receiver of the big backs coming out. 230 pounder. This kid is nice out in space. Catch the football. You could get him in the slot. He runs those nights over routes, and then he has the ability to make people miss. And that might be the thing that, that's probably missed on this kid more than anything else. Yes, he has toughness. He has size. He has the ability to burst through. He fits whatever scheme you want him in. But he has a little knack to make people miss in the open field. Not the fastest guy in the world, but still has the ability to do that. 69 missed tackles this year against Najee Harris. That led the nation 
and missed tackles against a particular running back. Had a monster year, 1,400 yards rushing and 26 touchdowns, mixed in 43 receptions. Here's another running back for you to keep an eye on. And this one might be even more in the picture for Atlanta in that second day, the second round, third round. Javante Williams at 5'10", 220 pounds from North Carolina. The kid had had almost 1,200 yards rushing and 19 touchdowns a year ago. Sprinkled in another 24 receptions. Another kid that runs violently at the point of attack, runs through tackles, does an excellent job of keeping his balance. He, he, he made 65 people miss tackles just behind Najee Harris, but he's got an excellent burst when he gets out of there. Najee Harris doesn't necessarily have that runaway speed. This kid does. Um, I, I think he has the ability to run by people and take it to the house. So when you start talking about a guy that, uh, that caught the football, 27 opportunities to catch the ball, he would drop it three times. So I like that about him there's a couple of guys there's five guys for you best player available talked about a couple of the running backs talked about the tight end talked about the linebacker could be in play for atlanta come draft day